This friggin' hammer got- This is like Thor's hammer we got with us now. This thing's incredible over here. Oh, it's the bathroom! Hello everybody, Grace to Blazer, we're back with more House Flipper. Although, it's more like House Destroyer. Realistically, that's what we spent a lot of our time doing. I was reading the comments on the ghost stories. Good stuff. That's what I like to hear. A bunch of believers. I'm gonna tell you what, I saw ones where it's like, there was people finding random bouncy balls bouncing by themselves, toothbrushes turning on, someone actually had the Pop-Tart incident happen to them. That was really weird because like, that was something I just made up on the spur of the moment, but to see that that was a thing for someone else was fantastic. There's all kinds of stuff, people seeing shadows, people taking bets to stay in horrifying places for money. I would have done the same thing. Let me go check something over here, I'll tell you guys a story in a little minute about something. Now, there was something I noticed a while back uh, when I got into the game. There was a day-night cycle? Was there always a day-night cycle? I feel like I can't remember if there was a day-night cycle, but it says that there was. I said I wanted to buy one of these. These ones where you don't actually see the house, all you see is the inside. I'm very curious about this. We are still millionaires, which is fantastic. There's no new archive stuff around. Which is kind of uh, a thing. I'm waiting for more updates on that. But yeah, there's like a day-night cycle. I don't even remember it ever turning to night. So if that happens, that'll be quite interesting. Let us go over to the housing development purchasable thing land. And buy one of these. The O3BC or the O3BB. I think we're going to go with this one up here. I don't know why. I just feel it. I'm just feeling this one right now. Welcome everyone to the O3BC. So you guys had some suggestions on some rooms to make. This house is very long. Very interested over here. Got some fantastic patio manship out in the rear. You guys had some suggestions on rooms that we could make. Someone did submit a picture, so I'm going to try and get that as close as possible. So, you know, that's an appropriate, an appropriate kitchen over here. Someone else said take all the walls down and then completely recreate the entire house and sell everything. We could do that as well. Someone else also wanted a, like, demon bunny room. I really enjoy that. I think we're gonna do that. So over here, we don't have any kitchen walls. I'm really happy about this. Because this means that we could, should we feel the need to, destroy almost everything for science and see what we can make from it. There's a few radiators that aren't in here. This is a lovely living area. So this is more like a nice classic great room over here. We got the coffee table, we got the eating area, we got this kitchen style place looking freaking sweet, an actual stove top which is nice. Oh hold on, hold on. Can I put a uh, can I put a friggin uh, 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 kettle on there? Oh so close, <laughs> so close to making it work. It goes on the counter but it won't go on the burner. I don't know why. Let us continue to walk through the house and see what we- Oh, hi there. The shining hallway. It's kind of interesting. It's just like a hallway with a bunch of doors. Is this normal? This is a lovely- This is a lovely suite over here. I kind of wish I had a bathroom that was attached to it, though. Let us go over in this direction. This? Oh, this one has the door that goes out to the patio. Ooh. This is interesting. There's just like a utility closet in here. There's only one bathroom in this house? I don't think I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm ready to accept that. There's one bathroom right in here. Not a ton of space either, I'm not gonna lie. Um, man, are we, are, is there a way for us to increase the size of this? This is very odd, the way this, the way this feels, the way this is set up. But again, I don't know if I start taking walls down, if all kinds of crazy things will happen. Like, over here... We should be able to make this into a much more appropriate bathroom. Let me get rid of this crap out of the way. There we go. One bathroom in the whole house? Unacceptable. Alright, time to bring out the sledgehammer for science. Sledgehammer for science, boys. We need to know what happens. Let's find out. Can I bring the walls down? The walls are crumbling. Some wall somewhere is crumbling. There we go. Good. Good. Fall for gray. Go down, you scumbag wall. You think you know, you think you can take the plans for the rebel base with you? You must be freaking kidding me. So let me tell you boys something. You guys were talking as well, uh, in the realm of horror stories and stuff like that. Talking about pranks as well. 
Yeah, when I was a young man, we used to play pranks on individuals, friends now and again. It wasn't because we disliked them, it was because pranks are amazing and every once in a while you gotta throw down. So here's what I got for you, this is just one of many. My long, illustrious life of ruining other people's lives. Good buddy of ours who, for the, for the purposes of, uh, of his own privacy, we're gonna go ahead and name him David. David was a nice young man. We're probably- Woo! Okay! Oh no! Alright. Well... Can I fix this? Mother of God, what did I do? Please stand back up as normal. Alright, yeah. See, I think when we busted out the wall and it, like, ruined... What in the world? It's like going in a circle. What sort of... What sort of odd sorcery are you trying to cast upon me? What the- how do I- I just want it to- just- just- Here, go over- go over here. Oh, mother of god. There! So, it was summer vacation, as, uh, all the- the horseplay usually happens in. And, uh, David was asleep. And my buddy and I- I'll call my buddy Jim. Uh, Jim and I decided that we wanted to, uh, to have a little fun that night. It was probably about midnight or 1 a.m. or something like that. So my buddy Jim was, like, a huge fan of, like, movie props and, like, filming and stuff like that. He had, like, you know, at the time, it was top of the, top of the line, man. Video recorder, like, we're talking VHS style. Um, and he had, like, a lot of, like, different, like, co like costume set props, like, the really, really good ones. You know, like, the masks that aren't the, just the kind that you get at the store. For like a couple of bucks, but like the ones that cost hundreds of dollars. Well, one of them that he had was this alien head. And it looked legit, man. It was like friggin' the most perfect alien head ever. And he was also like big on athletics. So, uh, all kinds of different track and field stuff. So he had a pole vaulting pole. pole. And we went over to David's house. And David, uh, slept on the second story. So, you know, this is like 11 feet off the ground or more. Big house. And we put the alien head on the pole. And we, you know, it's obviously like super dark outside. And there's like trees and ivy and stuff growing up the side of the house. So, with the pole and the alien head, we moved it up to, to, uh... David's window and we started smacking on the window with the alien head and you could tell that very moment when a young man wakes up you know how you're groggy you wake up and it takes a second right you're like oh, 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 oh. and then suddenly when you realize something's not right and your vision comes into focus it's like all hell breaking loose and that's when we heard it we heard I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and accurately Recreate this. Here we go. <clears throat> Mom! Mom! Right about like that. <laughs> As David started screaming for his mother, the alien head came down the, the window with us on the pole vault. And the next day, uh, Jim and I were hanging out, and uh, David came over, and he's like, Did you guys... Did you guys see anything weird last night? Have anything weird happen? And we decided to play along, so we were like, yeah, man, it was weird. We were, uh, something woke us up. It was like these bright flashing lights outside the window. I don't know what it was. <laughs> to this day, I'm pretty sure David doesn't know it was us. Anyway, you guys have any good prank stories? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. I love that stuff. Something interesting I noticed. Come the showers don't come with any kind of shower curtains. Like, I can't seem to find any kind of shower curtains. We're talking about the, uh, you're gonna notice that every once in a while, there's items in these houses that must be, like, prototype items. Like, this toilet over here, we can move this, we can deal with it and stuff like that. If you go over into the bathroom section, this toilet does not exist. There is a mountable toilet. There is no other toilet. You're not gonna lie to me, game. I'm gonna tell you right now. Does that say hot tub? Hot tub. Ooh. Hot tub orange? Is this hot tub better than the other hot tub? Is it more impressive? I feel like we need a hot tub in here. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really, like, look particularly better or more impressive. It's got, like, a little head pad over there, which is nice. 
out of the way, tub. I don't like you anymore. I want this one instead. We need the hot tub over here. I want to put the shower down appropriately, but the, sh the problem is the freaking shower doesn't have any kind of doors or anything like that. I can't seem to mess with it. It's very unusual. We only need one doorway into the bathroom. This doorway is going to have to go. Now, I wonder, can you build a wall when there's technically already a wall, but we haven't busted it down? The answer is no, which means that we're going to have to do a little bit of demolition, but it's no big deal. I feel like... I feel like the sledgehammer's gotten an upgrade or something, man. It's really busting out walls with the greatest of ease these days. Let's go ahead and knock that out. I'm just going to keep that door in there. We're going to fix up this bathroom real quick. And by fix it up, I mean make it look like crap. And then we're going to go ahead and work on maybe like the other room that we're supposed to duplicate. And then we can probably make the evil bunny room that someone wanted me to put together. All right, we're starting to get somewhere now. They don't have like a his and her uh vanity over here so i kind of had to make my own i wonder if there's a mirror anywhere we could put a mirror up here got the hot tub over up in here nice toilet sitting around with your uh, toilet paper we had to make our own bath or our own shower like the own epic size shower so i put four of them together you're gonna have to pretend for a moment here that this door would swing open and you'd be able to get inside I'd like to get a closet over here like a nice closet or something like that. But for right now, I think what we need to do is make this place look like... Oh, it's night outside. Hold on a second. I don't think I've ever seen night. There we are. Wow. It is like an abyss out here. There's not a star in the sky or a moon or anything. It's literally just black. Just black death and sadness. I don't know if this is the apocalypse or if this is just night in the game. A little weird. Is there any... Like, are there any street lights or anything like that? Yeah, there's sort of. No, maybe not. I don't know. Very odd. Oh, there's a dawn. The dawn is coming. Wow. The day moves very quickly in this game. This is how long it takes. You think house flipping's easy? No. <laughs> takes forever, man. You get to watch the sunrise. You get to watch the money roll in. Although, really, I guess the house flipping portion, we don't make very much at all. Go ahead and finish up this bathroom over here as the sun comes up and gloriously lays its golden rays upon our million dollar mansion that we are soon to have. Just thought I'd paint the bathroom something nice and cheerful. I call this urinade. That's this particular color right here. It's quite lovely, actually. You're going to notice it makes you feel it, it makes you feel cheerful and happy. And lovely. I think it's going to be just fine. Okay, good. I was kind of wondering whether or not I'd be able to get all the way across the, uh, the the horrifying monster shower that we've made. But it doesn't really look like it's that much of a problem. As long as I can stand... Oh, hold on now. As long as I can stand on top of the hot tub over here, balance myself as I paint, everything's going to go just fine. Now, this right here looks legit. Look at this work we did right over here. We're gonna have to pretend that the bottoms of the shower goes all the way around, sadly. Because I wanted to make it right up to the point where the floor changes color. Don't mind the bunnies and knives everywhere. I wanted to make it right up to where the floor changes color. So this is the huge shower that you get over here. It's like the king's shower. You got your hot tub. You got your double vanities. You got your toilet here with a couple of books. If I could get a counter in here or something like that to put the books on, that'd be nice. My bathroom's a little bit weird. There's a toilet like this. And then there's the bathtub over here, and then the shower over there, just like I made this. But there's like a little half wall over here. You can put all your books and stuff on it. Like a little sad little little minor wall. I don't think I could make that. Like, even if I do some demolition, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, we could potentially try it. But for right now, we've got more, we've got more rooms that we have to deal with. Now, in the room that we're supposed to recreate, I think this would be a good area for it. Um... It's not a bedroom, it's more like a living space, but I kind of want to keep the great room as it is. And these other rooms, they're not, they're not what I'm looking for. Like, this one's 19 meters squared, this one's 21. Like, it's a little bit bigger, but because it's like this weird, this very odd L shape, it doesn't quite do as well. Although I do like the patio over here. Now... I don't like this one. We're going to go ahead and use this. Oh, we need to paint the other side of this wall. There we go. Like nothing ever happened. See? Cleaned it up and lickety split. All right. Back over here. Let us sell all of this crap very expediently as we do. There we go. All right. So first things first. If we want to make the room equivalent. Let me go ahead and shut this door over here. This wall has to be flush. 
which means that the wall over here is gonna have to come down big time everyone's favorite part destroying walls with gray that's right in this episode of destroying walls with gray we're gonna get rid of something because it looked at me wrong which kind of is normal is there another wall behind the wall mother of god it's wallception this is fine like if if it if they just doubled this wall up it would be perfect but i have a feeling that's not the way of it yeah i'm starting to see light see right over there starting to see the light not worried about it though man this friggin' hammer got this is like thor's hammer we got with us now this thing's incredible over here oh it's the bathroom look everyone I found the bathroom. That's fine. We can make this work completely. In fact, this may work a little bit better than it did before. I'm just gonna go ahead and move the bathroom chunklets in on themselves and things should kind of all just come together. Bring it down. Bring it down. Woo! It's like a stick of dynamite going off up in here. All right. Well, there we go. Now that we've got that wall looking correct, let us take our... Are there any bunnies in the way? Now, is that a terrible... It's like when you're thinking to yourself, you're like, Man, I hope there's no bunnies in the way when I start moving this stuff around. Alright, everything's inside. Mr. Demon Bunny, if you could just... Uh, I need you to lay somewhere else. Right about there. We should be able to get the wall closed with him like that. Now, the only issue I have... Uh, is if this friggin' piece over here continues to exist after we put a wall up. And I imagine it would. Let's see if we can get a wall in over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's perfect. Just like that. I wonder if I could put, like, a nice piece of carpet or, like, a, a rug or something down so that we don't see the bathroom tile. Oh, Bunny, are you in the way or something? Pretty sure that Bunny was in the way. Pretty sure, because everything's going together nice and smooth right now. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, the only problem is we're going to have to paint this wall, sadly. Well, we've got some issues. We've got some issues. The problem is, is that the window sill sticks out here, so I can't get the last chunk of the wall up. I made the upper wall. So now, in classic way, we have to find out a way to cover up this wall so that no one knows it's there. What should we use? What should we use? Ah! Children's blocks. Seems legit. This one should be big enough. There we go. No one has to know. No one now can you stack the children's blocks if you can't stack the children's blocks we're screwed of course you can't why would you be able to this is probably the closest thing that we have that goes with the uh, that goes with the that one space that one uh, TV standy looking thing in the other picture it doesn't come in black though that's the only problem now it does have what looks to be Almost like a, a a vase on it and then some other sort of artwork go over to others I think we actually have something like super similar to that uh, Let's take a look over here. I'm sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got like it's basically this thing right here Got one of these on there like that that looks absolutely perfect and a little glass thing on it Kind of like one of these right over here. There we go. Just like that and then there's a TV on the wall. We don't have any TVs still. Someone said check in devices. All that's in devices is a microwave oven. We have pictures, though, that can potentially look like TVs. So let's go ahead and grab a picture over here. Maybe there's one that's nice. Oh, there we go. That's demonetization list. Let's go ahead and put that right over, right over there about. There we have it. Now it's starting to look kind of legit. The color for the room is more, it looks almost like a beige or a white or something. So let's give that a shot. Let's grab this over here. This is actually a giant pain in the ass. I never thought it would quite be so difficult. White coffee with one E. All right, that must be the light coffee when you're using the skim milk. What else we got around here? Brown, white, sunny, yellow, sandy. Well, sandy could probably do it. What's this? What's this white coffee look like? I'm very curious about this. It looks like a very dark yellow, actually, or an orange. Let's take a look. Uh, that's pretty dark. Sandy it is. That's perfect. I almost, you know what? Maybe I'll do this room in like a two-tone color. What do you think? You think like two walls, two walls the sandy and two walls the coffee? Oh, redecorating is a total pain in my ass. 
I got a weird glitch going on. For some reason, I'll try a different color. For some reason, this one wall will not get painted. Yeah, see that? It's weird. You're gonna notice I have walled up part of the room off. The reason why was because that wasn't how the one room was. Like, it had like a little alcove, but I can't make that happen over here. And there was no window on this side that was visible, and there's no drapes yet in the game. So I can't add those cool little drape effects or anything like that. So I just decided to wall that part of the room off. Don't worry about looking at it all askew like in the mini-map. We're just gonna go ahead out of sight, out of mind. We're gonna pretend it's not there right now. Alright, now it also has... Like, three lights that hang down over there. Picard would be proud. What does this one look like? Steel or brass? Let's do- let's do steel over here. Now... What does it take? How close do I have to get to the- Whoa, my god. Alright, hey, hell, alright, hold on. Right about, let's get it nice and face in the correct direction. It's like one like that. Alright. And then getting these spaced appropriately is gonna be a pain in my ass. One like that, one like that. Okay, that's kind of there. It's kind of looking appropriate right now. And then one more now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. Do as I do as I command. Let's go ahead and get our cubes facing in the correct direction. I think the one cube is a little bit sideways. Oh god. Oh right there. Oh wait, right. Right there or right there? Right here? Right here. And I have to move the other one up. Yes! Good! Look, now the room is lit up appropriately. Don't worry about that wall kind of sitting all weird like that. That's because I couldn't put the wall into the friggin' windowsill again. So now we have long tan couch, long tan couch, and then table in the middle. I really can't get a tan on this couch? Really? White? Alright, white it is. Let's see now. Oh, you know what? Hold on, let me go ahead and throw this over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, somehow I managed to teleport out from my horrible place that I was sitting in. Well, that's just fine. Let's go ahead and pick up this. Now, this couch may be too big. I don't know. Um... How about, how about if we put it against this wall over here? This one, oh yeah, the, oh, this is gonna be perfect. Hold on. Yes. I saw this one came in honey, I just looked at it, it is yellow. Like, yellow, yellow. So I thought maybe it was like a little bit of a tan, but it's really not. Okay, so let's bring this one over here. Let's bring this one a little bit further over here. Right about like that, maybe. There we go. Alright, we don't have enough room in the- in the actual, like... The problem is that we don't have enough... We don't have enough room for the room. Like, there needs to be more space between this and this. Uh, but, we can put the table in the middle over here. Let's see what kind of tables we have that may be at least somewhat appropriate. It's really just a dark table with four legs. This one looks pretty appropriate. Give me, uh, what color is this? Alright, that's actually super small. How about this one? Dark cherry. Right about, well, then it doesn't match that one. But that one didn't come in a dark color, so there's nothing I can really do. Put that one down there. Now, I think there was like a nice potted plant on here or something. Do we have any plants in the others area? I feel like there was plants. There's at least two plants. I feel like there's only two plants. There's like two plants. Let's go ahead and grab, uh, I like this plant over here. This, oh, you can't put it on here. Really? Oh, oh, you can. You just can't put it on the glass. That's interesting. All right, well, whatever. Hold on. Now, it did look like there's another little tiny table kind of sitting over here like so, with potentially another potted plant on it. Man, wouldn't you want all great to decorate your house? Everything's coming out absolutely perfect, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Another potted plant right now. There's supposed to be like a sound system over here. We don't have any stereo systems, I don't think. Uh, yeah. Negative on the stereo system. So instead, we're gonna put a microwave right over there. Right over here. Looks kinda like a stereo system, right? The only difference is not only can it, like, play sweet tunes for you, it'll also make your Pop-Tarts. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I know, Pop-Tarts in the microwave. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Alright! Well, it kinda came out appropriately. Oh, you know what we need? Hold on. There we go! There we go. That looks legitimate. Army of bunnies with knives cornering us over here into this room that we've made. Some potentially nude person with fingers trailing upon them. It may not even be a nude person, you know what I mean? It just depends on how you look at it. Maybe it's like two grapes that are 
seemingly connected into a person's back or something like that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of House Flippers. Let's go ahead and flip the freaking house over here. Oh, yeah, big profit, right? Feel free to let me know what we should do to the next house in the comments section below. I think we're going to go big next time. I definitely want to get multiple floors, and I need more suggestions on rooms to make and stuff like that. The devil bunny room was fun. I feel like we need to make one with red walls, though. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.